and decides to take her children to the Cinco de Mio carnival that's in town for Cinco de Mio Dutch she turns away just for a sec to look at her two older children and pay for the tickets at the carnival she turns back to get her baby in the stroller and realizes, he is gone. She screams the baby who is just six months old is gone. The other two children are five and four. The nightmare begins. Time stood still for the next 24 hours she didn't eat, she didn't sleep. Well, at least she didn't think she slept. If she did sleep it was not a restful one. Every time she dozed she thought she would hear him crying then reality set in again that he was gone. She knew she couldn't have a mental breakdown, she had to be here for her other two children and her husband who was gone on a oil rig job. She sent word to his oil rig company that he was needed home as there was a family emergency. They said soonest he could get there was tomorrow as he was two days away. She called that day, the day it happened. This day as she awaits for her husband to get home has been the worst ever. She kept the oldest girl K home from school, and the oldest boy Dean as well. The girl K was 8 Dean was 15 months younger than K. Clinton, the baby just turned 6 months. She has kept the televisions off the main channels, as she knew it would feature stories about the kidnapping. She just let the two oldest children watch their television APS they liked to watch. She couldn't bear to be away from the two of them even if just for a minute to go to the restroom or the kitchen to get everyone snacks and drinks in fear that it would happen again. All day that day that Clinton was gone and her husband wasn't. Home yet and waits for Mark to come home off the oil rig job. He's been out eight days this time. He was due to be gone for 14 days on this particular job. Mark was a good provider for the young family, they pretty well stuck to themselves and didn't cause any trouble for anyone. And was a young mother with K.A.Y. at 17, Dean in 19, and a half Clinton she was pregnant with several years later at 25. Mark was 19. All the children were born healthy. There is that crying again. And woke with a start. Clinton had to be here, somewhere, somewhere. She seen the two children and did not see Clinton. She knows in reality that the police are out questioning everyone that ran the carnival and everyone that was at the carnival so far no leads. She has watched enough crime investigator shows and seen enough stories on disappearances to know if that the missing person isn't home in 24 hours it isn't looking good. It's 3.30 the next day 24 hours later. She starts to cry again. The oldest two children start to cry again. She goes over to the two oldest children and tell them it's going to be okay. The next few HRS into the night was extremely difficult and thought she heard Clinton crying a few times it seemed so real that she called. The police, police officer Lola came out to investigate and see what she could do to calm the distraught mother. There was a group of seniors that decided to go to the cheese and wine tasting booth at the carnival. They was there celebrating Betty's 80th birthday. They decided to go there after celebrating at another friend's house Ruth. Ruth decided to stay home and clean up after the birthday party with another friend Nancy. Liz at first was nervous about going to this party because she just knew that something was going to go horrible wrong. Betty and Liz was the closest to the woman who screamed they turned around and seen a mother with two children frantically searching for another child it appeared that did not seem to be there. The officers asked the group if they seen anything out of the ordinary and if they seen the third child. No no they said they just noticed the woman and the two children. Betty said they always noticed the children as they were both teachers in their career. They would have noticed if anything was wrong. The officers keep poking around for leads, keep questioning and not a thing was. Coming up. Nancy told Betty that Liz had some special kind of insight because she just knew that something was going to go horribly wrong she could just feel it. She felt remorseful about being a downer at her friend's birthday party, but it was just a gut feeling she couldn't shake. While at home, and was feeding the children and putting them in a bath then off to bed they was all exhausted. She would E.T. them sleep with her tonight. Tomorrow Mark would be home. And got the children comfortable in PJs and bed, and then she herself would curl up with them and try to get some rest before Mark got home. She woke up hearing Mark go honey I am home, anything I could do to help? And popped her eyes open she found herself in a hospital room. Mark was by her bedside. And looked around she wondered how she got here. 
I know you have a lot of questions said Mark. I was told by a group of seniors that came to check on you what happened and the police informed me also. They said it was an extremely hot afternoon and you turned. To pay the way into a ride for the kids and a stroller slipped downhill accidentally. You got so worked up you fainted. The DR that checked you and also thinks you passed out from being dehydrated you have been asleep 24 hours t. Liz one of the senior ladies looked around for a baby in the stroller she said Dean and Kay kept asking for their brother. She had all the kids gathered by the time the police got there and was trying to help you recover by the time the ambulance got there. All the kids are okay, she asked. Yes, said Mark. They're out in the waiting area would you like to see them? Your mother is with them. Oh yes, said An. Oh yes. Mark I had this horrible dream, I thought the whole thing was real that one of the children was kidnapped. And said. Well that was probably from being dehydrated and needing a rest. You've been pretty much with the children day in and day out while I've been at work. I am so sorry. Mark goes out and tells the children and her mom she is awake. Mommy mommy, said the children oh my I am so happy to see all of you. You. Can't even imagine. Not as happy as we are replied and's mother hold baby Clinton in her arms. And was discharged later that day, with instructions to rest a couple of days and get dehydrated some mo. Mark took off three more days than her mother stayed a whole nother week. Liz Ruth Betty and Nancy came by getting the address from the police and, and was able to thank them all especially Liz for finding her baby. The birthday girl and friends was glad the family was gonna be okay and left the family some cake and flowers.